Welcome. Uh, I want to do a little outside venture for you. So one of the questions I get is, you know, before we start, especially with our three-dimensional objects, we want to start talking about a net. And a net is a vocabulary term that we're going to use for two-dimensional objects that, when formed correctly, are going to create a three-dimensional object. So, you know, you can think of a two-dimensional object as something that's going to lay flat. It's in two different dimensions. However, a three-dimensional object would be an example here of this box where it also lays flat but then also has a third dimension that's going to come out. So here I have a three-dimensional figure and a lot of times what we're going to do is we want to find out what the net is of this figure and the reason why that's so important is because if I kind of show you this box right here you can't see a lot of these sides right you can only see what you what is you know shown to you but a lot of these sides you assume that there because you, in your reality you understand that oh you know for this box to take form I have to have those sides there but in in the regard um, you have to make as a net is going to show all the sides of a figure all in one um, all in one kind of picture so to find a net the best way I like to look at it is there's a couple different ways you can take your box here and just kind of think of like peeling it away a net is all of the sides kind of folded down um, so what you do is if you can just take your net you can think of your top side well if you were to kind of rip that off and then for each one of these adjacent sides what you can do is just keep on pulling each one of these out And there you can see now I have all four sides and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to label these for you so you can see all four of the sides. So here's my net. This won't go in there. So my net, not all four sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And it's important because a lot of times in uh, geometry and in other math, what we're going to be asked to do is find the total area of material that it might take to create this box. Well, what we're going to want to look at then is the net of that figure. Now, this is a really poor picture of it, but what you can see is this net as a two-dimensional drawing shows all of the side length or all of the sides of this three-dimensional object whereas when I just have it pictured as a three-dimensional object you can't see all the sides so that's why it's really important to draw the net so if we need to maybe find out what is the total area of all of this of all of the side lengths of a net we can be able to visualize it and calculate it easier so there you go there's a little introduction for a net hope it helped